Uh, so who am I? I guess newly official, I can finally introduce myself as Dr. Kyle Kleckner, AKA Carl. And I am kind of the chief operating officer of Yo Martez, um, but basically I'm just head of branding and marketing. I met Tez first through some mutual friends moving to Abilene. My wife is from the area, so um, that's kind of how I got plugged in with you know a lot of the people um, that I know in Abilene. And of course moved out here for school and you know needed a haircut for the first time. Hopped on the True the Bus website and really kind of established our relationship through just you know sitting in the chair and getting cut up by him. Okay, so my upbringing, I was actually, I was born in Torjon Air Force Base in Madrid, Spain in 91. Um, my dad was in the Air Force kind of growing up, so we moved around a lot. Uh, kind of side note, funny story, my wife was actually born at the same hospital in Spain that I was born in um, six months after me. Our parents never knew each other on the Air Force Base, um, and then, you know, ironically, I think 20 years later, we ended up meeting each other on our undergrad university in Wichita Falls. But, you know, growing up, my dad again was in the Air Force. My mom um, kind of worked odd jobs. Um, and then around probably 10 years old, she got her teaching certificate and started teaching. And that was always something I took a lot of pride in, you know, that my mom was kind of like a sculptor of young minds, um, something I really appreciated. Um, something that definitely kind of carried over into the household. She was always, you know, trying to teach me new things. And I think that's, you know, played a lot into me kind of becoming the person that I am today. Um, I'm always willing to learn. I'm always willing to like pick up new, uh, new skills and stuff like that. But it was always kind of cool. I was friends with uh, some of her students going through uh, high school and they'd always say, you know, like, I'm your mom's favorite student. It was always so cool to me to be like, no, I'm my mom's favorite student. I find inspiration from a lot of places. I'm definitely one of those people that um, uses kind of several different outlets to kind of create. I take, you know, influence from music. I take influence from art. I take influence from other fashion designers um, and just kind of use that to create, you know, a congruent piece of work. To be more specific, people like Ronnie Feig, um, who runs Kith, people like um, John Elliott, um, just kind of working with different materials, using different styles of print, just kind of, again, cr come together to create a congruent piece that I think is very holistic and embodies really, you know, the, the type of product and the type of quality that, you know, I would like to consume. Time of advers adversity in my life, um, kind of in that year that I was talking about earlier with, you know, having to take that year off between undergrad and pharmacy school. Um, it was a matter of basically just being set behind a year because of mismanagement of paperwork at my undergrad university, not getting my transcripts sent where they were supposed to get sent. And at that point in my life, that was a big kind of, you know, kick in the junk that I was going to be put an entire year behind and like, you know, my career path and, you know, what, what I needed to do to move my life ahead. I had to pick up a second job just because I wanted the extra money to be kind of established when I was able to move on and, you know, establish that, you know, foundation of my life and that next step. But, you know, I think that was another period where uh, it was it was important for me to go through because it, again, taught me a lot about my work ethic and a lot about drive and ambition and, you know, basically just working for what you want. I worked at Casa Mignana, a little Mexican uh, restaurant in Wichita Falls downtown and we served delicious home of the red tacos and they're just fried tacos they're really terrible but they're known like worldwide I guess I'm kind of a story from the past that you know has kind of put me in a position to where I'm in today growing up I was very kind of inclined to be successful in like math and science but on the creative aspect of things there really wasn't too much that I was good at I never felt like I mean I've played with Legos but I mean I was a kid like that was just something I did I wasn't really like good at it you know but I would say it was probably like my ninth grade year in high school. I was in just regular art class as like an elective. We had a project that we had to do. Um, and basically, I can't remember what the project was. It was some like ink, oil, photo paper thing. And I just kind of BS'd it. I just wanted my grade and I was gonna try to get out of that. And my art teacher ended up like submitting it to this, uh, this art contest through Midwestern State. And I ended up getting like second in the contest. It was so cool to like, I, I'd never been, you know, creatively con inclined to do like art and, you know, to even put my mind in that mindset of, of creating. And it was so cool that like, I kind of, you know, just messed around and I got second. So I think that once I realized that, it kind of allowed me to open up that door and explore that room a little bit more in my brain, so. 
So how do I meet Rashad vid Visuals? It's somebody that I've known kind of without knowing for years and years and years. I'm sure he's kind of in the same boat. He's heard my name, I've heard his name just because of you know my wife and my wife's family knowing him. So we literally just met like right before this interview. So I'm very happy that this kind of connection has finally been made. Looking forward to you know what's next. So who am I? I am Dr. Kyle Kleckner, AKA Carl. I am COO of Yo Martez. I'm a husband, a son, a brother, a pharmacist, and I love my life. <laughs>